Police checked the area and found an open door in the back of a building. An officer went inside and called out, Marco. Police found the suspect after he responded, Polo. No, he, he did not say Polo. Is it possible to say Marco without saying Polo? Apparently not. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Oh my God, I don't even know when this video is going up, but by the time it goes up, I will have reached 100,000 subscribers. And that is fucking crazy, man. What the hell are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Subscribing to me. Jeez, jeez, you people are crazy. <laughs> I can't even thank you guys enough, honestly. It's honestly amazing. And I, I'd like to thank my mom and um, my boss, Landon, and all my supportive friends. And uh, anyways, here's to the next milestone. Thank you so much for subbing. Now let's look at some dumb <laughs> criminals, shall we? Dumb American criminals attempt robbery with permanent marker pen disguises. Two hapless robbers in America, Matthew McNelly and Joey Miller, have been arrested with the worst disguises ever after trying to hide their faces with permanent marker pen. Ah! Oh yeah, that's uh, that's uh. I mean, they're not smart. They're not smart. I I'll just say that. I feel like maybe you should have used like a what? What do criminal criminals use? They use those uh the the pantyhose pantyhose cuz cuz I can still make out every part of their face, you know? Take it from a criminal like me. Use pantyhose next time, honey. People who wear pantyhose on their faces are just like smushed like that. Like there's no way to tell what your face actually looks like. Man shares post seeking his arrest on Facebook is arrested within the hour. Oh yeah. Wanted Anthony James Leskowich, date of birth by Freeland police for aggravated assault and numerous other charges. He shared it. He's like, oh, look at me. I wonder, oh, they're searching for me. Oh, I'm going to share it. It's like I'm famous or something. There are other ways to get famous, my dear. Just go on TikTok. <laughs> Nathan Wayne Pooh. Is that how I say that? Pooh? 49, a bank robber who abided by a Dallas teller's request to provide two forms of identification before she could give him money has been sentenced to more than eight years in prison. <laughs> oh, what? You, you gave him, you gave him your ID? What? Wow, come on, come on. Use a fake ID next time. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Or just don't, or just don't give him your ID. Man eats underwear to beat breathalyzer? What? An 18 year old settler man tried to eat his underwear in the hope that the cotton fabric would absorb alcohol before he took a breathalyzer test. David Zerfla was subsequently acquitted of a charge of impaired driving because he blew 0 .08 the legal limit. <laughs> While sitting in the back of the patrol car, Mr. Zufla tried to eat his shorts. <laughs> Mr. Zufla said he ripped the crotch out of his shorts, stuffed the fabric in his mouth, and then spit it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a winner. Did it work though? I feel like it worked. I feel like it, it, it worked. He was acquitted. <laughs> But I mean, listen, eating, eating, if you're super drunk, does make, like, I mean, does make you more sober. That and coffee. I mean, what else do you have in the back of a police car? Your underwear or your socks. Oh, but they're attached to your feet. Oh, but your underwear is attached to your butt. Yeah, hopefully he wiped. Hopefully he wiped his ass before he put his underwear back on. Man attempted to rob Utica Bank with toilet plunger. <laughs> A Utica man armed with a toilet plunger attempted to rob a Utica bank Thursday, police said. What? When the suspect approached the unmarked police car, he recognized they were police, reached for his waistband, and then ran, police said. The officers chased him around the Bank of America ATM, briefly lost sight of him. He was found shortly after and taken into custody. With a plunger? I feel like that's not very intimidating at all. And don't most banks have those like, uh, this is 2012, so I guess maybe they didn't have those like, those things that, uh, a lot of banks have those like automatic like things that close the minute that they feel threatened they just press a button and then the whole thing closes. He's got a plunger. He's got a plunger guys! Is it a dirty plunger? Did you put it in the toilet before you came? Police! Help me find my pot! Adobe pot smoker spent her birthday in jail after asking police to help her find her drug stash. What? I lost my drugs. Can you help me? Yes, hello 911. I lost my weed. Yes, this is an emergency. Yes. I'm going to jail? But why? Shane Walker was planning to celebrate her 25th birthday when she realized her marijuana had been stolen by her boyfriend. Oh, girl, tell me about it. She called officers in Charleston, West Virginia, and even told them she planned to sell the drugs to pay for a birthday treat. <laughs> why did, why? Why did you do that? 
Shane Walker wanted assistance getting her marijuana, the police report states. She stated she had three and a half ounces. Wow, that's a lot. She also stated she sells the marijuana. Police found the drugs and charged Walker with possession. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you done fucked up. You done fucked up, honey. Thief butt dialed 911. <laughs> ah. Police used GPS to pinpoint the location of the call and found a burglary in process. So he butt dialed 911. I wonder, did, maybe they heard something? Cause like, I mean, people call 911 by accident a lot. Uh, not a lot, but I mean, you know, Siri sometimes and, and like new iPhones have this thing where like there's like an emergency call or whatever and it's easy to call by accident. But like, I didn't realize that they could like trace, trace it. Good to know. Accused of threatening to kill the president. Yeah, I feel like that would get you arrested for sure. Smuggler license plates lead cops to cocaine smuggler. <laughs> what? His license plate was smuggler? How <laughs> dumb can you be? Ah! The criminals keep getting brighter and brighter or not. Recently released court documents reveal the amusing details of a December drug smuggling arrest in Blaine, Washington. The smuggler, Yasmin Kerr, was reportedly caught riding in an SUV marked with the license plates that spelled out smuggler. <laughs> Even better, officers spotted the vehicle as it pulled into the parking lot at the Smuggler's Inn bed and breakfast. No way. The, the inn was called the Smuggler's Inn? She was carrying nine bricks of cocaine. Why don't you just put a sign on your head that says I'm a drug dealer, arrest me. Turns out Yasmin Kerr was just a drug mule sent from across the Canadian border. Two men approached her offering $4,000 to carry the cocaine into Washington, explains the Huffington Post. Once Kerr agreed, they dropped her off at a local pizza hut and then told her to call the smugglers in for a ride. She did and the owner went to pick her up. Unfortunately for Kerr, he also happened to be the proud owner of the smuggler license plate. This <laughs> smuggler not only went to the smugglers inn, but also the car that she was riding in Bruh. The Smuggler's Inn sees about 60 arrests a year as it's located only 30 feet from the Canadian border. Oh my. Oh, yeah. See, this, this is what I'm saying. This is the things like that, the, the things that when you go into a bank or like a money mart or whatever, you threaten them and then all they gotta do is press a button and then boom, there you go. And now you're locked in. Ha <laughs> ha. That was fast. Those are fast. Look at that. Let's watch it one more time. Whoa, that's quick. It ain't easy to be a bank robber these days, I'm telling you. It's hard out there. Man says he failed sobriety test because he was kissing on a drunk chick. A 19 year old Lebanon man who tried to blame a girl for his breath test turning up positive for alcohol was arrested for driving while intoxicated. Wow, you're blaming it on a girl? Yeah man, she just, there was a lot of spit. There was a lot of spit involved, there was French kissing. Can you imagine how much you'd have to like spit in someone's mouth for them to have like a blood alcohol content? Maybe you just don't imagine. Let's, uh, why did I even bring that up? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Teen talked out of robbing sex shop after being offered a job and then arrested after he put his real name on the application. <laughs> ah! A teenage boy was arrested after he tried to rob a sex shop but ended up filing out a job application. That's kind of a weird turn of events. The police tracked him down because he gave the clerk his real name. Cody Connor walked into Cupid's Corner in DeBerry, Florida, Wednesday afternoon, pulled out a gun and demanded money, according to police. Instead, the clerk, Cheryl Hunter, talked to the teen about why he decided to stick up the store. When he told her he needed money to help his grandparents pay their bills, she slyly offered to get him a job at the store. For a tense moment, the teen considered, then pocketed the pistol. They sat together as he filled out a job application for the sex shop, which specializes in skimpy lingerie. Wow. Oh man, if he ever gets out of jail though, he's gonna come for, for Cheryl Hunter, I tell ya though. I tell ya. Ooh, damn. I don't know how I feel about that. Cause it's like, you hear about these like, these acts of kindness in movies when like someone tries to rob you and then you show them kindness and then they just like break down crying or whatever. But then she she went and she like reported him as well. So it's like, ooh, he, he gonna come for you when he, has, when he gets out of jail for sure. <laughs> Robber hands gun to cashier by mistake during robbery. <laughs> Get out of here! A robber accidentally gave his gun to a cashier while meaning to hand over his swag bag. Wow. Oh, was he baked or something? Who <laughs> that up? You gave him the gun? Ah, oh, idiot. <laughs> the thief raided the Halifax Bank in Cheapside in the city of London and demanded $700,000 in cash from the bank worker. But after making his demands, the crook who was wearing shades and a flat cap handed over his gun to the cashier instead of the bag. The male cashier froze as the crook realized the mistake and made for a grab for his gun before running off as the security shutters came down. Okay, so he grabbed his gun again. See, I was kind of picturing like the clerk like grabs the gun and points it at him, but he grabbed the gun back. Oh no, wait, he did, did he try to grab his gun? What's happening? Doesn't say, doesn't say. 
What are you smoking? What are you smoking? Can I have some? Man fails to steal cop car despite being in the front seat with the keys. <laughs> Police officers in Amherst, Ohio on Tuesday arrested a Lorraine man they say tried to steal an Amherst police car. The incident happened outside the police station just before 7 p.m. while an officer was leaving to check on a car crash. According to a news release from the Amherst Police Department, the officer noted a man sitting in the driver's seat of the police car with the doors locked. Officers tried to unlock the cruiser's doors but were, were unable to remove the man from the car. Police said the man, 38-year-old Peter, used the computer inside the cruiser and police radioed to ask dispatch how to put the car in gear. <laughs> no! Uh, ah, so funny! Theato told officers he wanted to take the car out on patrol to protect the people of Amherst. <laughs> That's so weird. It's like, he sounds like a good Samaritan though. Like he sounds like he just wants to be a cop. <laughs> So funny. Florida man tries to pawn stolen jewelry at store managed by woman whose home he just robbed. <laughs> what? No. Some criminals are just dumb. Others have incredibly bad luck. 33 year old Nathaniel Coleman of Imolaki, Florida? Imolkali? <laughs> He pulled off what seemed like a successful home robbery and made off with thousands of dollars worth of jewelry, but then made the cosmically doomed accident of trying to pawn off the stolen goods at a store managed by the woman who owned the home he just robbed. He started showing the store manager the goods he was looking to sell, but the woman realized they were suspiciously identical to items from her own jewelry collection. Wow, that's great luck for the woman though. Like imagine that. Imagine they just like, he just makes off with all these like family heirlooms and stuff and she just goes back to work just hating her life and then a guy walks in and tries to sell, sell her a bunch of things and it ends up being all the shit that just got stolen from her. If that's not a miracle, I don't know what is. Big mouth Billy Bass scares off would-be burglar. <laughs> That's fair though, those things are so scary, dude. And they, ca and they catch you by surprise as well, so you just think there's some random ugly fish on the wall and then they start talking to you and you're like, whoa! I want one of those in my house that'll just talk to burglars. Just freak them out. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this video. Do you guys have any dumb criminal stories? I feel like I really like this, uh, this video. I feel like this is super interesting. Imagine, you know, we're just one dumb decision away from being in jail. Make good decisions, kids. And subscribe!